Now at 10, bracing for bad news. Will that be enough to kind of push us over the edge into a recession? Economists break down the chances of a recession. The cousin of Amir Locke is sentenced to prison in connection to a murder in St. Paul. Police in Dallas, Texas shoot a woman who opened fire inside an airport. And we're in Indianapolis for Big Ten Media Week. Off the top of your 10 at 10 tonight, there are growing fears that a recession is coming and new data to be released later this week could confirm just that. But that got us thinking, how would Minnesota fare if the U.S. did enter a recession? Well, it might be better than other states and Rose Schmidt joining us now. And so, Rose, what did you find out from the experts today? Well, Minnesota actually could be an anomaly with Minnesota's record low unemployment rate of 1.8%. An economics professor tells me during a recession, we could fare better than most, but there are still several things to keep in mind. A recession is often defined as GDP declining for two straight quarters or six months. But economists say there are actually several factors they use to decide when we reach a recession and they're pumping the brakes on the current concerns. I think we're at about a one in three chance of having a recession by the end of the, of the end of the year. Economics professor Lewis Johnston says the current conditions have analysts stumped. Inflation has been going up and GDP has been shrinking, but yet people are working. This is something we really haven't seen since the end of the Second World War or even the end of the Korean War. Minnesota's job market, for example, is doing pretty well. The current 1.8% unemployment rate is the lowest of any state ever. Last week, state officials said it's unlikely that a recession would cause a huge increase. Even a, a slowing in hiring at this time is not going to uh, likely create a dramatic spike in the unemployment rate. The White House is downplaying fears of a recession ahead of the release of a key report that will show whether the economy shrank for a second quarter. The feds are also expected to raise interest rates this week, which will affect borrowing, credit card rates, and big purchases. If you are thinking of buying something like buying a house or buying a car, it's going to be cheaper today than it is going to be six months from now. Johnson also says safer investments are going to be more attractive than riskier, like bonds instead of stocks. Cash, surprisingly enough, might actually be more attractive because interest rates for things like savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, things like that are actually going to be going up. State officials also say there was a time back in the 90s when the country went to a recession, but Minnesota did not. So there's a precedent there. That was also the time when the state had its lowest unemployment rate up until now. Back to you.